Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm coming at you with a little hoops right here. 21-22 Panini Recon Basketball, six box, half case, pick your team number four, all card chip. Looking for top rookies like this guy. Low numbered cards, nice autographs, short printed hollow dots, parallels, all that fun stuff. So this is the second half of the case that we popped open not too long ago. Remember I marked those with uh, X's so we know they're from the same case. Big thanks to this group for making it happen on Monday the 8th. Gretchen with that last spot mojo pistons. She knows that 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. So we'll see. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that in that uh, team random, that filler that we did. All right. Good luck. Seems like a good cross section of uh, old school autographs and uh, and of course the the rookies that we're trying to chase here as well. So, and I think design wise, I feel like a nice little a nice improvement from last year. So a nice uh, step forward, nice evolution from last year. Last year was fine. This year's better. Maybe next year will be even better than this year. I think recon been pretty nice. Now we're kind of in a no man's land for basketball. A lot of the draft is over, summer league is over, a lot of free agency stuff has, and trades, a lot of those pretty much have taken place. I guess we just have to figure out what's gonna happen with Kevin Durant, if anything, Kyrie, if anything. You know, so I, I, we're, all, we're all kind of in a, in a holding pattern, it seems. All right, I did, I did pull up the, the, the calendar, the NBA calendar, so we'll take a look at that when we're ripping open the next box. And of course, all cards ship. Future Legends, John Morant. And a redemption. Any guesses on this redemption, ladies and gentlemen? For bragging rights? Gonna happen with him. There's Larry Bird to 299. It's for the Celtics, Simon. There's a Cade Cunningham rookie card that will be for Gretchen and the Pistons. Let's see if we can find like a low number of that or maybe some ink. Kevin Porter Jr., 199 for the Rockets. That'll be for Eric. Josh Giddy maneuvers that looks pretty cool. Michael Bridges to 299. Josh Giddy's going to go to Grant. We got David Duke Jr. Rookie autograph for Brooklyn. That'll be for Michael L. Ninety nine Bones Highland and maneuvers insert Steph Curry. All right, no guesses on the redemption, so we'll just reveal it. It is Anthony Davis called to excellence. This has got to be Lakers edition of Anthony Davis, right? Sometimes. Let's just double check just to make sure. I'm almost certain that it is, but sometimes they, they do something a little different. Groupbreakchecklist.com, Recon Basketball, Anthony Davis, Call to Excellent Signatures, a Laker. Who's got my Lakers? That'll be Stephen Flat. Got randomized the Lakers in that team a random. He and LeBron can stay healthy. 
Even if Westbrook plays like league average basketball with some of the youngsters that they have on that deck, could be interesting. But my, my Lakers, very thin margin of error. Everything, pretty much everything would have to go right. Uh, league calendar. Let's see, where, where are we at here? In the free agents, that was late June, early July, free agent to contracts, summer league. So I guess September 9 and 10 will be the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame enshrinement weekend in Springfield, Massachusetts. September 30th and October 2nd, Warriors Wizards to play an NBA Japan game. 2022, so that'll be interesting. Raptors and uh, Bucks, sorry, Raptors Jazz playing the NBA Canada series in early October. October 6th and 8th, Milwaukee Bucks, Hawks playing Abu Dhabi games. It's all this Raptors and Celtics play NBA Canada series. I think those are all preseason games, I want to say. Oh, there's a Paris game this year, too. Pistons and Bulls will be playing in Paris in January. All Star game is in February uh, in Salt Lake City. Yeah, it looks like early October, we're gonna start to see all those uh, late September, early Octobers, and we'll start to see, so I guess training camp in early September, mid-September. Miles Turner to 99 for the Pacers, that'll be for Jeremy, and we'll start seeing some early training, some preseason games, and we'll Lead into the regular season. Patty Mills to 299. I like that Josh Giddy rookie insert card. Looks pretty sharp. Grant with OKC. Another redemption. Any guesses here? Anyone out there to guess? To tell you what, I'll give everybody one guess. And if you guess the player correctly, one and one, one and one only one guess, or else your entry will be validated. I'll give you ten dollars a break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com if you're registered to the site. There's Lugan Dort, two ninety nine, for the Thunder. That'll be Grant. Tyler's gonna guess Kyrie. Rebel's gonna guess John Morant. Also, people are out there. There's Aaron Wiggins. Seven out of 99. That'll be for the Thunder. That's going to be for Grant. For 199, Malik Monk. And there's Kyrie Irving maneuvers. Guest window closed. All right. It's going to be Joe Ingles. I don't think anyone guessed Joe Ingles. Kyrie, Josh, Scotty Barnes, Miles, Anthony Davis, LaMelo. Joe Ingles. That's got to be... What is it? Glorify signatures. Uh, that's Blazers edition. Blazers on the checklist. Portland Trailblazers, that's going to be for EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, next box. Some, some basketball action to happen here.
When's the Lakers' first preseason game? October 3rd, hosting the Kings. Wow, Tyler said Joe Ingles, but the autocorrect changes to Kyrie. Mm. Tyler, Tyler Carter, you need to you need to upgrade your phone so those those errors don't happen. Cost you ten dollars in break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, next box. Got KCP for the Wizards, two ninety nine for Han, and more for Portland. It's rookie auto, Trendon Watford, six out of forty nine. Another one for EA and Portland. And a Josh Giddy autograph, 16 out of 35. Nice. Grant Backer with OKC. Nice. Tyler, yes, as I am a Dodgers fan, what's my reaction on Padres getting Soto and Hader? I first of all, I was surprised. There's Sadiq Bay to 99 for Detroit. I was surprised that Milwaukee gave up Josh Hader. That was a little surprising. I don't know. Soto hasn't really helped the Padres at all. They've scored. They haven't scored very many runs since they got him. There's Josh Richardson to 289. And Scotty Barnes for Toronto. That's that's for Han. Now that's going to be a scary lineup. Once once Fernando Tatis Jr. you know uh, is back and healthy, that's definitely going to be a very scary lineup. But but they've got to they've got to execute now. To 199, Robert Covington. I don't know. That's gonna be a scary team. That the, the pitching could could be could be got though, right? I think some of the starters are not as. I guess you Darvish is pretty good, but yeah, that's gonna be a it's gonna be a scary team. All right, we are halfway through this half case break. Three more boxes to go. About another. Another, uh, what, 10, 12 minutes or so? Tyler's saying, hey, today, but you think the Astros get it done this year? Yeah, see, that Astros pitching is pretty, uh, it's pretty great. I know this is a basketball break, but let's not too much basketball going on, so let's let's uh, switch gears a little bit here. It uh, looks like World Series odds. Dodgers are still favored by most books, plus 300, 350 to 360, depending on on where you're at. Yankees are about close to four to one, plus 380, 80-ish, 375, 380 around there. Astros are about four to one. Then it's the Mets about five-ish to one. Padres are about 10 to 1, although I think they were like 15 or maybe even 20 to 1. And after the Soto and Bell and Hader moves, I think they their odds uh, got a lot shorter. Then the Braves, then the Blue Jays, Cardinals, Brewers, etc., etc. Yeah, Vegas agrees. The answers are, are, are right up there. Austin Reeves, nice. Julius Randle's 99. Some talk about Julius Randle maybe making his way back to LA somehow. And there is Jason Preston. Rookie autograph for the clip show. Stephen Flat for the Clippers. Yeah, we could see a really incredible MLB playoff. Season maybe an all time all time great Tyler saying. It's Kevin Huter eleven out of forty nine. 
Uh, Destined for Greatness autograph for the ATL. That's for Michael L. We'll have to see how the... I'm interested to see how the new uh, wild card slash playoff format plays out as we get close to the end of the season. Like what kind of storylines happen, happen there. To 299, Darius Baisley for the Thunder. There's Davion Mitchell. Red Vel... Is, do they call Kevin Huter Red Velvet? Is that what you're saying, Oliver? Yeah, I, I'm not sure what Kate, what Kevin Durant's end game is. What I mean, he wants to get traded, I guess. I I don't, I don't know, but like, but what, what, I mean, he's smart enough to know that it's going to be pretty hard to trade a Kevin Durant. But, yeah, I mean, but he, he's the one that wanted to go there in the first place. So, There's Lamelo Ball to two ninety nine. I don't get it. What's people's, uh, do people like, do we like Kevin Durant? I don't know. If, if LeBron said the same things Kevin Durant did, I, I feel like, I feel like uh, ESPN would, would melt down. You know. Basketball Twitter would, would, would melt down. I don't think LeBron's ever demanded a trade. I think all of his moves were like free agent moves, right? I don't know. I mean, for me, I, I kind of hope that this, whatever happens, it, it just kind of gets resolved because... There's Wendell Carter Jr. I feel like there's there's probably a lot of deals that are kind of still pending, or potential trades or other moves are kind of pending because everyone's waiting on the Kevin Durant domino to fall. You know, once that, you know, once team knows or they're in or out of the Kevin Durant sweepstakes, you know, then maybe they can. So okay, then we can now move on and try to make some moves. I guess I'm thinking of my team, the Lakers. It was Jalen Johnson, two ninety nine. I don't know if they're in on Kevin Durant. I think maybe they're closer to getting, you know, maybe they've got a shot at Kyrie, but I think that domino doesn't fall until until Kevin Durant figures out what he's doing. So things are kind of in limbo. Here's Alexei Pokusevsky, 67 out of 99. This is not in limbo. This is going to go directly to Grant. There you go, Grant. So I feel like once that's resolved, then we can kind of figure out how the rest of you know the red, what other moves could be made in the league, but now we're just kind of, kind of wait and see. And I'm just like, well, let's just come on, Kevin, and the Nets. Let's figure. Come on, Kevin, and the Nets. Let's figure it out. There's JT Thor, two out of forty nine by the hammer of Thor. I would draw, I would, my autograph with my last name was Thor, I'd draw like a little hammer right there. That, uh, Charlotte, Brian. Kevin Huter, 299. New uh, shooting guard for uh, the Sacramento Kings. All systems go insert, Josh Giddy. All right, final box. Yeah, or like the T of Thor. Would you draw a hammer? Good call, Oliver. Yeah. 
I mean, you would kind of... Alright, maybe... He's got two T's. Which T would be the... Would, I think I would kind of do like a... A JT... Something like that. You'd make that the hammer, right? Something like that. I think the media is putting words in KD's mouth. I don't know. That's those are some those are some some serious comments. Are they stirring things up? I mean, it's ultimatums like that. I mean, that's 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 pretty concrete. You know, if that's not coming from Kevin Durant's camp, I think Kevin Durant is giving words for the media. I mean, he hasn't really been out and out quoted, but I feel like he's like leaking this stuff to the media. In a face-to-face -face meeting with the Nets owner Joe Sy in London on Saturday, star forward Kevin Durant reiterated his desire to be traded and gave Sy an ultimatum. Reports Shams. Uh, Karania of The Athletic. According to Karania, Durant told Nets owner that he needs to choose between trading him or firing general manager Sean Marks and head coach Steve Nash. Durant says he does, doesn't have faith in the team's direction, sources tell The Athletic. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else. That's pretty clear. It's not like Sharania is saying, I heard from so-and-so who heard from so-and-so. McShams is saying Oh, I guess sources with direct knowledge of the meeting. That's what that's that's the source. So it's not just speculation. It's Kobe White to tune in and you know, even as cynical as you could be about the media, it's kinda that's pretty that's the kind of that's you're not making stuff like that up because those are some pretty heavy words. It's Mitchell Robinson to 99. And if it was wrong, Kevin Durant hasn't come out and out and out said no. He's not saying no, that's not true. So his silence speaks volumes. Uh, 001 out of 199, that is everyone's favorite. Grayson Allen, everyone's favorite, right? Milwaukee Bucks, Drew with the Milwaukee Bucks. Although he's been playing, playing pretty decently. It's Jason Tatum to 299. Dirk Nowitzki to 199. Tyler saying Grace now looks British to you. Does he, does he have the look of an Englishman? Yeah, you're all right, Giannis. You're all right. Yeah, maybe. Absolutely chuffed to be playing alongside you, Giannis. There's Kate Cunningham. Absolutely chuffed. And there's Isaiah Jackson, rookie autograph of the Pacers, and Jeremy. That's our last autograph of Pick Your Team, number four. Thanks everybody for hanging with me, and for uh, thanks uh, and thanks everybody on this list for joining the breaks. Pretty solid break. More recon in the store if you want to get after it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.